It's December, 2004. Astronomers Roy Tucker, David Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi are putting their eyes to the sky at Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona. The group of men are seasoned astronomers and have discovered hundreds of planets during the time of the observatory. But today was no ordinary day. As they peered into the sky above, they noticed something else, something that wasn't there the day before. And what started as a bright speck began to grow. And soon, the discovery made by the three men would make headlines around the world. The object in question became known as 99942 Apophis. Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid, which now belongs to a group of asteroids called PHAs. These are asteroids that bring their orbits dangerously close to Earth now, and in the near future, the stadium-sized asteroid is zooming at Earth at 28,000 miles per hour, 10 times faster than a bullet. If Apophis does hit Earth, the results would be catastrophic, with the impact being equivalent to 1.2 million kilotons of kinetic energy. To put that into perspective, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945 contained 16 kilotons of energy. One month after its discovery, the asteroid was estimated to have a 2.7% chance of colliding with Earth on April 13th, 2029. Because of Apophis's massive size, the asteroid would be visible for days before a collision. First, it would appear as a bright star in the sky. But as Apophis got closer, billions of people would be treated to a light show that would follow from east to west, following over Australia, the Indian Ocean, and eventually colliding in Africa. Lucky for us, this unique historic event won't be as catastrophic as experts first predicted, with the odds of collision now being 1 in 250,000. Still, even after the risk was ruled out, scientists believe that Earth's gravitational pull on the asteroid could pull it into a certain collision course on one of its many predicted passbys. The danger of Apophis and other PHAs are the inspiration for NASA's DART, a low-cost spacecraft designed to defend Earth against dangerous asteroids and comets. With the main structure being about 1.3 meters cubed, DART is designed to extend two solar arrays that will allow it to power its experimental particle thruster. This will help it reach speeds of 6 kilometers a second, where it'll eventually collide with its target in an event known as kinetic impact. And on November 24th, 2021, DART finally turned science fiction into reality, where at 2.17 a.m., it separated from the second stage rocket, fired up its thrusters, and began its journey to its target, an asteroid known as Didymos. Didymos is an asteroid about 560 feet in diameter. The goal is to modify the asteroid's flight path in such a way that it can be accurately measured using ground-based telescopes. Such real-world conditions are incredibly difficult to replicate in the lab. And right now, DART is on its way to Didymos, and is expected to arrive on September 25th, 2022. The hope is that by tracking how DART affects the trajectory of the asteroid, we'll be better prepared for defending Earth when a real threat does occur, like one of the many Apophis flybys. Although technologies behind planetary defense are still in its infancy, DART represents a major step forward in humans making their mark on the stars. Just as we learned to build safeguards for catastrophe on Earth so long ago, so now have we started to deal with space. But what do you think? Are technologies like DART really the next step in planetary defense? Or are there better ways to protect Earth? Let me know in the comments below. I really do love hearing what you have to say, and I'll be sure to respond to every one of you. And as always, thanks for watching.